And welcome to our uh, afternoon worship service and it's out of our subot. Let us everybody to stand and let us call Baradino to lead us in our opening prayer. Magamputa. Dala ko ng kamahan namo, Diyos umahan, salamat Lord God, sa kapunan, karong yatag ni mga kanamo, din Lord God, kami makabalik, yak kanimo, sa pagsimba, o kinakulog Lord God, ang kadaugan, Salamat Lord sa panalangin ganiyan ka muntagon o sa mensahe wag ang mga dawatan pero Lord God ikaw magapadayon paguban ka namo o ang Holy Spirit mao Lord mo giyas matagos sa kanamo kay Lord ako bagampo gipadangat ni Kristo Jesus nga man luwas amen Amen thank you Padre Dino and let us sing rescue the perishing Oh, Jesus. 
Jesus is merciful, Jesus who saved. Oh, there was lightning in still is waiting, waiting the panic to try to receive. Plead with them earnestly, plead with them gently. He will forgive if they only believe. Rescue the perishing. Jesus is merciful, Jesus will save. Down in the human heart, crushed by the tempter, feelings like buried, the grace can restore. Touched by a loving heart, wait. Oh, not a broken, will die, wait once more. Rescue the perishing, careful. Jesus is merciful, Jesus will save. Rescue the perishing, turn it in man, for the labor the Lord will provide. Back to the narrow way, patiently win them. Tell the poor wanderers, I say, your ones die. Jesus will save. Amen. You may not take your seats. So let us call sa atong magdala sa atong special number to please come, the Flores family.
Salamat sa mga special number. Amen? Ikaw ang... Sino title? Ikaw ang... Ikaw ang kusog. O sa ni? Kalipay. Amen? Binakog nga... English to. Saya, mandi ay. Are you ready to listen to this afternoon message that is found in some... 46, 46, verse number 10, and it's a common verse that we have. Some of you might have memorized this. Let's all stand again as we give reverence to God's Word. May hapon sa tanan ng maminaw or nagtanaw niya sa Facebook. And again, thank you sa atong mga crew di ha sa audio and video. AV room, they're doing their best. Their best. And uh, human aning COVID, uh, pasin ma hired na sila sa ABS-CBN kung maabli. Number 10, verse number 10, it says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the hidden. I will be exalted in the earth. Let us pray, Father in heaven. Lord, we come to your presence this afternoon. Lord, we are thankful and grateful, Lord. And Father, we ask that you bless as we continue to study, to listen to your word. You may you give us understanding through the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for the message you have brought to us this morning. And we are grateful again to honor you, to worship you this afternoon. Bless those who are viewing in their homes, in their Facebook, with us every families, uh, the members of the Rian Bible Baptist Church, as well as those who are here uh, faithfully attending. May you bless them, Lord. Thank you for this privilege again of bringing your word to your people. This is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Please be seated. The title of the message is from the very verse, and stay, be still, and know that I am God. And... Uh, the present world is is in turmoil. Ano ba in turmoil? Magulo. 2020, if you remember it, 2020 it started with a big bang. That Taal volcano eruption, uh, followed by some floods and earthquakes and, and famines and wars. And now, this pandemic, COVID-19, ano kayang sunod? What's next? What's next? And being a Christian does not exempt us from all of these things. Right? And these things are the noise of this world. And we are always bombarded with negative things and thoughts. Marami na po tayong naririnig, nakikita, and, you know, fake news and all those things. Leaders are fighting one another. And uh, going against the uh, authority, going against the written law, and everything. It is just a noisy world. Tama? Maingay na masyado ang ating mundo. And then comes this technology we have and gadgets, iPod, iPod, tablets iPhone, cell phone, meron nga yung cell phone na, na ano tawag yan? Yung Samsung na, 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 na fulfilled, fulfilled yung screen. And I look on the price, it was around 50 above, 1,000 pesos. So cell phone, just for cell phone. And smartphone, net, na, tablets, and all of this. And then we have media, that like Facebook, Twitter, marami pang iba. These are all what people are getting into and 
eventually these are the noise that brought chaos in our life. The sad thing is that all of these things are just created to make noise, but not help us draw nearer to our God. Amen? Just try to imagine if mga anghel sa, kal- sa kalangitan from heaven, mamaba sila diri, magduel sa to ang may zone, and then mga anghel na po ilang anak-anak po sila. No? The influence of this lifestyle. And whether you are poor or rich, everywhere you go, this lifestyle, these gadgets, and all of these things that we have, it might not be noisy in a sense, but it, in, in a personal way, it has become a noise in your life, and this noise has not helped you spiritually. Amen? You hear, you see young people with earphone, lahat doon, Bluetooth, as if they are talking to you, but they're just glancing at you, but in reality, they are not listening, they're listening to their phones. Amen? And this is sad because most of the things that we possess are things that hinders our relationship with God. Because most of those things that we have does not make us quiet. The verse says, be still and know. How are we going to be still when we keep listening to the noise of this world? Amen. Now, before internet is just in the laptop or computer, now it is in the TV. You can go and watch everything, anything through internet, connected to your smart TV. But what, what really matter, uh, what really reality now, there is smart TV, there is smartphone, but the people are not smart. People are becoming dumb and dull. Ang gadget lang ay smart, pero ang tao bobo. Amen? And this relationship of us with the Lord Jesus Christ and with our God should grow. And this noise that we keep putting in our minds and in our hearts will not make us grow as Christians. Still means, kung ating tingnan tong be still, still means to slacken or abate, cease. It also means consume or draw, fail, be faint, be feeble, forsake, idle, leave, let alone, slack, stay, be still, be slothful, be weak. Now if you look at, if you try to understand the meaning of it, it is all of a negative side and means that we are nothing, we should, we cannot do anything. In apply natin po yung word, be still to the word of God. That means we ought to put ourselves in a situation that we cannot do anything apart from God. That is being still. No is used in a great variety of senses. Figuratively, literally, and inferentially, including for your observation, care, recognition, and causatively. No also means instruction. No also means designation. No also means punishment. No also means acknowledgement. No also means acquaintance. No also means advice. It also means answer, appoint, assuredly, be aware. And discern, discover, endued with. Feel. I always hear people say, feel na ko, feeling na ko, feeling na ko. You know? Abi na ko man actually na, abi na ko. But no, dili N-O, naglali si Brother James, wag si Brother Robert, yung sagdo spelling sa no, gingon si James na, Ayuhan na, tanggal ang W. And then, ingon po si Robert, tanggal na itong K. Oh. Ambot ni silang duha. Okay. 
When I pray, no, kung tayo po ay magdasal, how do we address God? Pag kayo po ay mag-pray, anong address nyo sa Diyos? Do you just say, God, Ginoo, Diyos? It is more proper and it is more personal when you address your God as Father. Amen? Before we pray, sometimes we just use the word Lord, God, and when we talk to God, but it is it is also good and it is proper, and I said that we use the name or address our God as our Father because our relationship to our God must grow. And it must be personal because when you address God as our Father or Father, that means you have a personal relationship with God. When you address God and Lord, that means you are subject to a, a king or a master. Kagabi, we were discussing what's the difference when God calls you a servant and when God calls you a friend. A servant does not know what the master do it, but the friend knows what his friend do it. Amen? And therefore, as we address God as our Father, it is a, uh, a stimulus or a sense that we are still and we want to know who our Father is. Meron pong libro, they call it Pursuit of the Happiness. Pursuit of Silence. The author, nagsabi pong author, people are accustomed to noise. Do you believe that? Di ba? If you notice... Isang tao, first time mo makasama sa room and muhagok na siya. The first night, you will not be able to sleep. Am I right? That's true. And then later on, following day, the following days, the following months, the noise has become part of your sleeping habit. You can now tolerate, you can now sleep, even though the person snores so loud, it does not bother you anymore. Why? Because you have become used to it. Just like many people today, we are accustomed to noise. Cars, alarms, ringtone, earphone, television, radio, especially in our neighbor early morning na singko pa lang, tugtog na na yung radyo pating kusuga, murabag siya pa lang, murabag siya lay tao, siya ang palibot, kumawa po'y pagtulog sa uban, siya po'y saba kayo. Ano na yung mga nasilingan, no? Di ba? Abi niyang matanatanan. Na singko sa buntag kusug na yung radyo. O, tugtog na rin. And, you know, the, the, we are accustomed to that. Cars passing by, it's strange nga ngayon lately nung nagkaroon ng COVID uh, uh, ECQ. Dati, walang tigil ang daan dyan sa daanan natin. Every day, maingay yan. Morning, gabi, madaling araw, may gano'n. And we're accustomed to that. But when there was a quarantine, it seems you can hear everything. You can hear everything. Why? Because there is stillness and quietness. And this book also says that silence uh, focuses us. Silence brings us closer to people around us, improves our health, and is a key to lasting peace and contentment. Kailangan po tahimik, maging tahimik tayo para makaroon po tayo ng lasting peace and contentment. Sino po sa inyo nakasama na po ng mga ano, bungol? Have you ever, have you ever had an encounter with a deaf? Okay. Kala nyo may, hindi yan sila maingay? I, had a, I have a great experience in a church when I was in deputation. And it was far north. And so I went into the church and I seated on the right side of the church, right side on this side. And there are many people sitting there, young people, and I was thinking, 
this is a good place because mas maraming tao dito kesa dito. So I sit there in front and then the pastor was just laughing and and told me, uh, you, you just sit there, you will enjoy the place. So when the service started and the song, congregational song was led by the song leader in the first stanza, the quiet, so quiet place turned to be the most noisy side of the congregation. Everyone here is singing. Everyone in this side singing. And they're also singing. But the problem is they're singing with their hands and opening their mouth. And they started to sing. <laughs> and it was so noisy. But reality, these deaf people are walking together using sign language. But they constantly watch out for each other other holding on the other side their gaze. They are connected neatly, aware of their surroundings. Kahit po hindi sila makarinig, kahit po hindi sila makasalita, but yet they are so sensitive and they are so connected with their surroundings. That's why we need to be still and know who God is. Number one is, it's our task. Amen? It is our task. To be still means don't complain. It means don't murmur. It means just let, wait and learn from God. Our task is to sit down and wait patiently. God hated the Israelites because of their too much murmuring, too much complaining, too much noise. Amen? Ang gusto ng Diyos, when He speaks and He wants to drive something out and He wants you to learn, you have to be still and be quiet. Amen. The murmuring of the children of Israel cost them so dearly. And let me tell you this afternoon, if you keep on murmuring, it will cost you more of your life. Be still, that is be aware of murmuring against God, said the Lord. God gives not an account of this matter to any. Pag tayo po ay uh, magmurmur, tayo po ay siging complain at reklamo sa Diyos, sigurado na ay may tabo. Nga dili ni mo gusto may tabo. Amen. God wants us to be still as to actions and outward behavior so as not to oppose God in the dispensation nagihatang niya. If your dispensation of time, dispensation is time actually, if you are in the dispensation of learning, if you are in dispensation of trial and testing, then wait until it is finished. Do not murmur. Do not complain because it will stay longer. If you are now in the dispensation of learning, then learn. If you are now in the dispensation of discipline, then be disciplined. And if you are now in the dispensation of God will bless you, then be ready. Because it will happen. So we need to have an in action, uh, be still action and outward behavior and the same time as the inward frame of our hearts. We need to cultivate, cultivate a calm and quiet submission of soul to the sovereign pleasure of our God. Hayaan natin ang Diyos. Amen. Di ba? Hayaan natin. And again, I see those these uh, riots and when people 
are trying to be arrested. You know, the problem is when they do some crimes and they keep on shouting and complaining and, and then when the policemen will use force, they resist and it costs and it will hurt them. You know, the more they resist, the more they will be hurt. And so in like manner, the more we keep on complaining against God, we, comp uh, we murmur against God, the more we will suffer. Just like the people of Israel, the Israelites during their wilderness time. We always cry, right? We always cry murmur or complain about our problem about our situation and sometimes we complain on mo most of the things that are not in in significant insignificant things we fight for and that's the always that's that's always be the testing that we have the devil will try us Sometimes we hear people say, ah, oh, this brother and this sister is unfair that we are always the victim of circumstances. But there is no victim of circumstances. Amen? And to Christians, there is no accidents. There is no coincidence. It is all in the hands and plan of God. We need just to be still and know. And because of that, we miss the most important lesson God wants us to learn or God wants us to teach in our life. We miss many opportunity of learning. Why? Because we are not still. Magulo tayo. Maingay tayo. Maingay ang mundo natin. Our task is to listen before God. Wait upon His instruction. Our Lord wants to instruct us how to be happy. Amen? Do you want to be happy? Listen to God. God wants us to be productive, fruitful, and how to live victoriously. That is all the plan of God. He wants us to be happy, productive, fruitful, and to live victoriously. But sad to say, many Christians today are not happy with their lives. And if you are not happy, then you will not be productive and fruitful. And you will live a life of losing or loser. Do you want to be called loser? When you are a victor? Amen? But our problem is we won't have time to listen. We don't have time to listen. Sa panahon ngayon, kayo mga sudyante, ito mga sudyante natin, you have all the day, because you will not go to school, you have all the day for yourself. Pagdating sa gabi, pahinga naman kayo. Amen? Ipahinga nyo naman ang katawan nyo. Because masama at hindi maganda magkasakit sa ngayong panahon. Sipunin ka lang, COVID na ang tingin sa'yo. Oh. Natai ka lang dahil nakakain ka ng panis na pagkain, COVID na ang tingin sa'yo. Di ba pag puyat na puyat ka, it also affect your a bowel movement, right? Am I right? Yeah, that's true. So, kung magtatai ka, and then paklinik ka, uy, itong tatai ka, uy, COVID dyan, isolate ka na agad. Diliwin mo yan. Dahil lang hindi ka natulog, dahil sige kang ganun-ganun. You have all the day to play. Why, is, why not rest on the night and play the next day? Bakit pati gabi? Ubusin nyo pa. Paano na lang katawan mo? What will happen if you die? Because we are not still. Hindi tayo mapakali. Yan ibig sabihin nung be still. Hindi tayo mapakali. Hindi tayo, ma hindi tayo ma masabihan. Hindi tayo nakikinig. Matigas ang ulo natin. Pag sinabihan, galit. Yeah. 
They were, the Israelites were angry with God because God tells them to do this and do that. And they, were, they get angry with God. And now, and when they have problems and they are all caught up in a situation that they cannot do, they call upon God. Pag kayo nagkasakit, mga anak natin, pag nagkasakit, ang tinatawag na ay. Pero hindi nakikinig sa nanay. Amen? Oh, di ba? Yan ang problema. The problem, our problem is we won't listen. And we don't listen. We go with the noise of this world that we are making. And you are one of the noise that, that the world is creating today. We lose our focus because of those noise that already attach in our body. Nakapilit na sa itong body. Pagising mo, pak! Pagis, tulog mo, nakatulog ka na, hawak mo, attach talaga yan. These are the things that we go back to our homes because nalimutan natin ang cellphone. No, sometimes I go back to the home sa balay, kaya nga no, nalimot ko sa face mask. Amen. Psalm 139, 139, verse 23 says, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. We may observe the ground of this duty, namely the divinity of God. His being God is sufficient reason why we should be still before Him and listen to Him. It is not wise to murmur. It is not wise to object. It is not wise to oppose. But calmly and humbly submitting to Him is the best that we can do to God. Amen? Not only we have our task, but also we have our entitlement. Ano po yung entitlement? And our word for that is privilege. Okay? Privilege. Yun po ang hindi naintindihan ng mga artista ng ABS-CBN. Franchise is not a, what do you call that? What is the opposite of privilege? Franchise is not a right. It's a privilege given to you. Entitlement. And our entitlement is to know. You have the privilege to know. Amen? Why are you always, you know, bothered when it's raining? Ang privilege po natin is to know. What? Know what? That I am God. It speaks about the past and it speaks about the present and speaks about the future. God is the past, present, and future. And when we have the privilege to learn of the past, we go to God. And if we want to learn of the present, we go to God. And if we learn about the future, we go to God. That's our entitlement. That is our privilege. In that He is God, He is absolutely and infinitely Perfect being. Correct. As He is God, He is so great that He is infinitely above all comprehension. And as He is God, all things are His own. Amen. Kaya, be still and know. That's our entitlement. We can learn Many things. It's a privilege to learn about our God. As we talked this morning about, that's my God. You know, mga bata po minsan mag-perform, and then sabi, anak ko yan! Maganda rin sabihin ng Diyos, that's my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Amen? In that He is God, He is worthy, to be sovereign over all things and above our life. And Diyos, maoy magpaibabaw. Sa kanta nila ganina, ano yun? Ikaw ang kusog. O, dalang, dalang bisuda ito, dalang panan. Walay maka, 
himulag. Walo oh. mo na yung mukanda si James o binisaya. Pero sunod-sunod na po siya ang tapad. Nalimot po kay Sudlay, Brad, ba? Na, nabot yung stibo kalibutan na yung mga tsula. <laughs> Panudlay, yung tao, eh. <laughs> Klaro kayo, mabago kang matagi, kan sa katulog pang magpanihap, paniud to. <laughs> oh, this brother Robert, may problema kay taas kayo ng iyang kwan. Hairline. Oh, balik tayo, balik tayo sa ito, no? wala nito sa itong kwan. And in that He is God, He will be sovereign and He will act act at such. Kahil sovereign ng Diyos, magawa niya ang gusto niyang gawin, and He can do anything He wants as long it glorifies and honors Himself. And that He is God, He is able to avenge. Notice this. Ayaw mo katingala ni. He is God, and therefore He is able to avenge Himself to those who oppose His sovereignty. Kanang dili mo to o gino, muabot rin panahon, makahisgot yun sila sa ngalan sa Diyos. To know, our entitlement is to know, to hear that still small voice, the voice of God, the Holy Spirit that is in us, the Holy Spirit that is in us still small voice, a still small voice that we can hear. We did not in marinig if we don't listen to Him in stillness. Di ba? Pag may gusto tayong uh, tao na kausapin, tapos maingay sa no? insa to ingon. Hilom sa. Pag hilom sa dia. Anto di yun siya mahilom, di yun na siya maminaw. Am I right? The same way, as long as we will not put ourselves in stillness, the small voice of God, you cannot hear. So, it is a entitlement to us to know God, to hear that still small voice, to know that we are protected. Isaiah chapter 54, verse number 17, weapons that are that is formed against this Shall, shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage we have, the servant of the Lord, and the righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Notice that wala pong magawa ang tao sa Dios, And we are protected by God. That's an entitlement. Amen? Our entitlement as we listen to Him, we wait upon God, is that we'll, we'll know Him more and better. And when you know Him more, it is easier for you to follow and obey our God. Number three, we have our what? Our tasks, we have our entitlement in the last, be still and know that I am God. It is also our focal point. Focal point. Our main goal and our objective is that God must be exalted and glorified. That's the verse 6. I will be exalted among the hidden. I will be exalted in the earth. How are we going to exalt God if we keep on talking and complaining of ourselves? John the Baptist said that I must, I must decrease and he must increase. Amen? How are we going to exalt God if we exalt ourselves? How are we going to exalt God if we put ourselves in the throne? How are we going to exalt God if we put him aside and put our, our life in the center? What, what matters is our life, lack matters. Amen? Acts chapter 1, verse 7, and it says, And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the time or the season which the Father hath put in, the, in our power, 
Verse number 8, it says, But ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you. Ye shall be my witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and all Judea and Samaria and all the other most part of the earth. That is our focal point. It's even in this time of crisis, God wants us to center ourselves in bringing the gospel to other people. God wants us first to listen to Him and develop our relationship because He wants you to be used in, pro in spreading the gospel. And when the gospel is spread, then God will be exalted and God will be glorified. Amen? Yun yung kailangan eh. That is our focal point. We ought not to divert from that. We need to stay on that. Why? Because that is the purpose of God, that His name will be exalted above all the earth. Thank God for our missionaries, in spite of the difficulties they're experiencing now, and our difficulties and also in sending our help, but they are they're still there continuing preaching and proclaiming the Word of God, so that the name of God will be exalted above the earth. Matthew chapter 5, verse number six, uh, 16. And it says there, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works. And not this getting apart. Our part is to glory, to let our life a testimony, a living testimony. And let it people will know and see our good works. And then what's the end product of that? And they will glorify our Father which is in heaven. God is glorified as we walk circumspectly, which is a result of maintaining our our tasks and getting the entitlement or privilege we have and do not lose the focal point. Amen? In conclusion, be still or no, speaks of our task is to be still or responsibility be still and know our entitlement is to know god and then our focal point or goal is that god may be exalted therefore be still and know that I am God. Amen? Let's all stand. Our Father in heaven, Lord, thank you for this time you've given us. Again, the word of God has been preached. I just pray that you bless the hearers. Lord, that they will do what they have heard today. And thank you, Lord, for the privilege of bringing your word. Again, may your name be glorified as your purpose, O oh Lord, your name be exalted above the earth. Help us, Lord, to do our tasks. And even, Lord, do not waste our privilege or entitlement. And also help us, Lord, not to lose our focus. Bless the people. Bless the church. And we are looking forward, O oh Lord, for the great things that you have in store for us. We praise Thee and we glorify Thee. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Our messages today and even the following Sundays and Wednesday will always be focused on the word hope. Okay. And as we know about more about God, it gives us more hope. Right? Sa ating panahon ngayon, kailangan natin ng pag -asa. And our hope is on is in God. Wala na po tayong ibang pag-asa kung wala ang Diyos sa ating buhay. Amen. Let's get our offering this afternoon. Let's pray for the offering. Let's pray, Father in heaven, Lord, thank you once again. We ask that you bless the offerings that we're going to get. That give glory to you and also, Lord, for the needs of the church. Uh, sanctify this, Lord, for the fatherance of the gospel. 
And may your name be glorified as we give. Bless the giver. Bless, uh, bless the gift. This is our prayer, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you as you give. Answers, please. Palihog na madiha. Ang usa wala na. Balik. God bless you as you give. It's a special number next uh, Wednesday. So now sign, Brad. Wednesday. Wednesday. Kayo? Oh, kayo. Sina James. Oxy. Brother Mark. Oh, tama. Then next Sunday will be Daya family and uh, Ronya, Sahapon, Ronya, and Gwinnett. They were asking, how are you going to do that if you cannot come? Record your song. Video. Okay, video. We try that. But the uh, problem lang, we keep on laughing. So I do not know how you can finish that. Since well, si Ronya and Gwyneth, dalawa lang sila, there will be no problem in uh, fixing yourselves inside the phone. Kami o, oh, nung tumayo kami, hirap kami magkasya. So pinalayo namin, mahina naman yung boses, malayo kasi yung phone. So, and then we cannot finish. Pag konting mali lang, makatawa kami, buong kag nasad, balik na. So we decided to sing live. Para pag namali, wala nang magawa. Di, di ba? O yan, tulog na si Yabi. O Yabi, gising. Oh. Yan ang buhay nila, kain tulog. Diba? So kayong nakikinig na assigned sa, sa na hindi makapunta dito, I would just ask you to video it. Okay? And then send it to our, send it to Brother Mark or to me. Okay? Send it to Brother Mark. Messenger ha. Do not post it in our Berean chat room. Okay? Everybody will see it already. Okay? Just Post it to Brother Mark's account or to me. Pwede rin directa to James Flores Photography Studio. Oh. James Flores. So you just send it. Okay? Klaro na? Nindog tampalihog. Let's all snap. Oh, salamat kay na si... Uh, si... Ang tawag natin si Manong Security. <laughs> Nalimot ako sa ngala niya. Sa ngala niya rin mo? Charles Day ka? Charles, Charles Day ka ha? Charles. Okay. Salamat sa iyong pagtambong. Okay. Huwag ang puta palihog. Dismiss us in a word of prayer. We'll ask uh, one of our young men. Young men diri. Uh, Richard Obat. Nalimot palihog. Goal sa Babayo. Let's bow our heads and close our eyes. Let's pray. Our great name and heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this afternoon, Lord, that you have given to us, Lord. And Lord, thank you for your word, Lord, that uh, we have listened, Lord, and bless us, Lord, as we apply it in our Christian life. And Lord, as we go, Lord, keep us safe. In Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. See you on Wednesday. Ishingin na yan.